Hello, everybody. My colleague, uh, Richard Heidel, and uh, I, Anja Ebersbach, we are from Halle Welt. And uh, we want to uh, use the next 20 minutes to um, present a project we have done uh, for one year now with our customer. And um, yeah, the, the name of the project is Wikiprot. We don't, na uh, we don't name every uh, project with our customers. Uh, but uh, this uh, project was funded by the uh, German government, so we have to, to come up with a kind of working title. Um, first of all, I would like to uh, tell you some details on, on our customer, um, which is Pilkington. Uh, I don't know if you know the company. Um, Pilkington is, um, <clears throat> is the leading um, manufacturer of uh, glass products uh, in the world. And uh, the um, enterprise is seated in Great Britain. But um, the people we have to do, um, they, they work in uh, Weyerhammer. This is a little uh, village in, in northern Bavaria. And as you can see, the plant is very uh, nicely located in, in, in the middle of nowhere, uh, in the forest, so to say. And uh, yeah, here uh, at, the uh, at the picture you can see um, the the plant of the of uh, of uh, the, of this site. And um, as you can see, there are two production lines where those uh, big glasses glass uh, um, slides are transported uh, from from the beginning to the end, so that they can cool down and uh, be finished at the end. <coughs> um, yeah, as you can imagine, the ma maintenance and uh, uh, yeah, the maintenance of the machinery um, needs a lot of documentation and a lot of information and communication within the company, and um, that is the point where we come in and where the problem was. And uh, uh, I say problem because uh, I show you a picture of the situation. Can you see that? No. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was a problem. <laughs> this is, um, um, first I have to say there are 500 people that work at this plant and they work in uh, three shifts of eight hours to keep the, to keep the machinery working. And uh, well, they have to documentate and they have to communicate a lot. And uh, when we came in, they did that by this book. This is a handwritten book, and they have many of those books in, in uh, bookshelves. And, uh, well, it's really a pity that you cannot see that. Um, there are handwritten in, uh, entries of every shift, about 15 to 20 entries. And um, there are also highlighted, highlighted entries in there. Um, uh, but what, what I want to say is that it, it's, it was very surprising for us that such a high-tech company uh, documents their, their shifts um, in, in a handwritten books. Um, this is the first, this was the first method. The second method was this, oh, it's, you cannot see that either. This is uh, SAP, uh, SAP uh, interface. Uh, this is the first, uh, uh, this is the second step uh, the workers have to do after their shift is uh, finished. They, they have to, to fill in this uh, SAP form so that also the management uh, uh, elsewhere can uh, count the, the activities and the, um, the incidents and uh, hours. And from this form they get a number and this is the third step they have to fill in this number in this uh, paper form and uh, so that they count their, their, their hours and uh, what, what they have done in this special sh uh, shift. So this, uh, this was the situation and um, our uh, job was to, uh, to create a system um, according to the requirements of this, uh, of this company. Well, the first, um, yeah, the first wish, of course, was to get rid of this handwritten shift lock, and um, um, they, they, want, they wanted and they want to have a, a one 
one single system where all uh, um, kind of documentation, all incidents, news, reports, and so on um, are stored <coughs> and can be uh, retrieved. Um, this all uh, should be, of course, with a very easy and responsive user interface. And uh, yeah, the last, uh, the last wish was that uh, they want to have, uh, they want to, um, um, yeah, to, to, to make queries so that they could uh, retrieve uh, certain uh, facts and uh, certain data from, from the system and uh, export it into a, a digital time shift, for example, in Excel. So um, this, can you see this? It's better, isn't it? Um, <clears throat> This is the sketch we gave to the customer. I'm sorry, it's, it's, uh, it's written in, in German, but uh, I can try to, to explain it a little bit. Um, you can see the, the employees uh, who um, uh, fill in uh, the, 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 the forms at the uh, system. Um, so far, as you know, they, uh, they, they filled uh, the, the information in, in, in their little office in their um, handwritten book. And um, it was one um, requirement that they should go to, to the machines and um, fill in the information uh, quite there. So um, in, in, in the near future, they wanted uh, to, um, to use uh, tablets instead of uh, desktop, desktop uh, PCs. Um, the base of it all should be the, the wiki. You see it on the right side where all uh, the information and the knowledge on the machines should be stored. And upon this, there should be a certain communica uh, communication layer, kind of microblogging system. And <clears throat> first of all, we plan to, to use another software. Um, we thought about StatusNet, but uh, uh, it is not maintained anymore. So we decided to uh, do it all by Semantic Media Wiki. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Um, yes. So this is, this was a plan. And now we can switch to the, yeah, to the to solution. Oh, hi, everybody. I tried to show you a live system. And if it doesn't work, we can work with screenshots. <clears throat> so, um, unfortunately, it doesn't show up now. There it should be. Mm. Supposed to be. No, the reason is that it's still this. Just <laughs> some chance. So, okay. So. Um, I tried to trans translate a bit because everything is in German. It's a German company. And you see there is uh, the shift log. It's in uh, German, it's a shift buch. Uh, and um, as uh, Anja already told you, um, the user interface was very important for the, for the customer because you must imagine there are engineers and workers and that are not uh, authors. They hate to write something. So the the uh, idea was to make it m mostly comfortable. And uh, thanks to Chameleon. <laughs> Again, the Chameleon skin, it's possible to have a nice um, user interface which is um, fully responsive. So you can make this smaller, greater, and it's uh, usable for any mobile devices. Um, I tried it out here at my smartphone, so that's quite nice. And um, so, unfortunately, I tried to make it a bit smaller. This is how the <coughs> ordinary workers see it. So, what you see now, this is so like the, the microblogging system or the single posts and entries that show um, what happened today. Um, there are three types of, of entries. Um, so maintenance, maintenance reports and fault reports, and some the possible to 
post some news if somebody is visiting the uh, company, then maybe you give a notice and say, hey, today, take your proper shirts, there's somebody coming around. Um, <clears throat> all these entries um, are, if you want to change that, um, you must just, um, out of every entry is combined to, um, to the system documentation. For instance, we have here an Oh, that's typical German, Elektro G Hub platform, Hubwagen Alligator. It's um, a Stapler of English, um, <laughs> an Ameise, quasi. So, and yet now you see that's the proper documentation. This is um, an ordinary wiki entry, uh, an article with some metadata, um, easily are maintained or um, with, an, uh, yeah, with full text and some metadata about the equipment numbers and uh, some search entries. And you see here is a uh, visual editor um, available in semantic forms. And uh, so we reduced everything as much as possible. So. And in the end of this, you see there's an entry, somebody has changed something. So in this case, it's me. <laughs> I have maintained this engine, this machinery. So, and this, this entry is also shown in the timeline. Yeah. So, and if you want to, to add a new entry, then you just, select, for instance, the maintenance report form, then you can um, change between, have a choice between uh, two uh, modes. It's a, it's a fault report, it's uh, something different. Then <clears throat> who is responsible, uh, which group of employees. This is very nice, the next thing, I love this, uh, because um, you, can, you have all these um, machineries and equipment numbers, and you just start with um, a number or with, um, with the name of it, and it is looking for some suggestions. For instance, let's take the first one. So and now I say what I have done. Um, painted it black. Now I can add something more for. So this is a, like tags, you can tag what you have done. And you say, okay, um, when have I done it? I've done it um, at seven o'clock in the morning, which is very unlikely if I did it. It's too early. Okay, is the fault, is, uh, is there a fault anymore? No. Um, should it be reported at the system documentation? Yes. Um, should it be printed in the timesheet? Yes. So the timesheet is very important for the customers and it's, it's really horrible to say, oh, uh, on the end of the day, what have I done? And uh, they must show I've worked many hours for the company. <clears throat> so, painted. I think I've written it wrong, isn't it? It's a B or D. But it's just already the entry for the timesheet and uh, there are some numbers and uh, so on. I'll make it quick. Now this is stored, saved. You see now the well-known um, semantic data, and now it's here. You can find it here and at the top of the page. It's quite easy. Um, so what's that, what's more? Then we have there is the timesheet. People love it, say, okay, when have I done something? For instance, um, I thought 21st of July I did something, and now you have a query, and this query shows, oh, yes, you have done something. This is all the numbers. What have you done? How long have you done it? And you can ex export it in an XLS file for Excel sheets.
second entry? Yeah. Yes, I can make a second entry. Yeah. <laughs> I can yeah. make so many entries. Um, there, here? Yeah. Yeah. At the timesheet, <laughs> I need I need a date where um, where two. Uh, okay, uh, now uh, it's um, our programmer told me to tell you that there's a nice function uh, because uh, the uh, timesheet uh, sums up the hours of the workers. I'm not a te technician, but this seems to be a very interesting feature for um, a programmer. So. Cannot show it now. <laughs> I'm sorry. It sounds simple, but sometimes uh, there are features missing you can't imagine in the first place. So um, we go ahead very quickly. Um, so you have still a complete wiki with um, where you can document whatever you want to. You can uh, your your safety instructions and your, your system documentation, the workflow proceedings, and everything. Um, so this is still open. You have an ordinary wiki. Um, <clears throat> what nice is now that you can search all this. If you remember the, the book, the handwritten book, um, Anya showed you before, then the difference is quite clear. Um, normally, if you want to know which machinery have you maintained and how many times, and oh, this is an old thing and, and always broken, and we had, then you, you take this book and then you have to read it, as long as you can read it. And so um, it's much easier to have certain queries, and the standard queries are here. Um, available, for here you can see these are all Tätigkeiten um, or maintenance. Or, or, or fault reports. <clears throat> but the most interesting thing is that now you can have customizable queries as well, that you say, okay, please give me every fault report um, made by Richard Heigl, for instance. <clears throat> and then you get Results. Oh, a very lazy uh, employer. So, and in the end, you say, okay, this is quite simple. And I don't te tell you the secret, it's very hard to make it simple. <laughs> it's really, really hard. And uh, thanks to our programmers and your, your work, it is possible because. Um, of, um, of the Semantic Media Wiki. I was horrified by the idea that we wouldn't use Semantic Media Wiki because in the first, the first idea was, and I thought, oh, I've always seen Semantic Media Wiki as very complicated systems. And I don't know if you can do this, but um, uh, I was uh, really surprised that uh, we can do this in that way. And uh, so actually the pro, uh, this beta version is now at our customers and they um, are working with it now for a few days now. So, and um, I'm, I'm, uh, I wonder what the results will be, but I'm, I'm very um, <coughs> proud of this, what we've done, because it shows us a lot uh, where, where is it is going to. So usability is one thing. Uh, make it simple, working with forms is one thing, and some people maybe say, oh, this is not the wiki way, um, you must always have the possibility to work with full text and so. Um, I don't think so, collaboration and collaboration platforms and sharing knowledge is much more than only have a wiki system, and this wiki system as a platform to make something new and something great, especially highly customized for the, for the customer, is uh, a really good thing. So. And anyway, there, there is the wiki, and if the workers uh, want to work the wiki way, they, they can do it. It's just a normal media wiki, so to say. Yeah. So, um, at the end, yeah, Outlook. on short Outlook, the next steps, um, as I said before, they, they want to use this uh, system on tablets, but even tablets are not very handy if you have uh, dirty fingers or something like that. So the next step, um, are smart, smart glasses they want to use. And uh, yeah, this is also a very new area for us, new field to investigate. 
Then another, yeah, this is a, um, those are the glasses I talked about. Um, next step is a topic industry 4.0 uh, um, machines that uh, uh, yeah that work as as wiki authors, so you don't have to put in the information um, uh, as a human being, but the, the machine uh, tells the wiki, so to say, how how it feels uh, if mm -hmm. if it needs need, uh, needs uh, maintenance or something like that, some spare. Um, uh, um, it, uh, parts or something like that. And uh, the third uh, requirement for the future is a uh, yeah, connection to, to SAP, which is also very new to us, we will see. Um, one thing uh, to, about the glasses, I don't know if you see this very well. This is how the glasses would uh, uh, function. You have, uh, yeah, you have this, this uh, this gla the glasses on, and you can see the interface in front of you, maybe uh, on your on your hand, even if it's dirty, and and then you can uh, you can fill in a checklist or uh, something like that. So um, yeah, this is very interesting area, and we are looking forward to that. So now I think we have some minutes for questions. No, we have no time for questions, isn't it? One question always. One question always. You can share questions. You say you have a half one and the uh, question sharing. Yes, I know. Yes, this is always a hard decision. As a, um, the, the, the background is that we made some experiences years, years ago, either six years or seven years ago, where we had the idea that uh, we should combine um, a wiki with a um, with microblock system to have a better communication layer for that. So, and that was exactly the moment, or one year later, so when uh, the customer came around and said, I, I need something, and we said, okay, then we, we have something already. We, yeah. And uh, so this solution is much better, of course, because it's integrated this one system. Yeah, that's also uh, my, my uh, opinion. We also had this, uh, we already had the connection between the media wiki and uh, StatusNet. It was quite old, but it was there. Uh, but what you imply is that um, cementing MediaWiki is better anyway, isn't it? Well, I was wondering if maybe you, you, you were planning to use hashtags as a sort of data storage mechanism like that. I Not so far, no. Uh, no. no. May I, uh, it's, it's also true that uh, development always comes with the solution you have. So that you have customizable filters is something you can offer if you have a semantic media wiki. It's much easier. That wasn't, uh, hasn't been an idea um, when we started the project and we, we thought maybe uh, StatusNet would be uh, a, a good solution for that. So then the customer sees it and says, oh, that could be a good idea. I need this. <laughs> so, so all technical questions. Um, Maybe to Leon, he has programmed it. Thank you very much for this. And um, further questions then? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I take my yeah. laptop with me. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>